Good morning guys, the sun is shining today and I'm so happy here in Noosa, it's been raining for the past like maybe week or so, I've been working a lot, oh wow that's bright, Tommy's been working a lot, yeah just a few things have been happening like with my visa, I applied, everyone gets like accepted straight away, not me, they wanted to investigate me but like I have done my farm days, and I'm just really nervous about the blueberry picking because it was piece rate and I don't know, I shouldn't be nervous because it should still count, but yeah I've just been sorting out those documents and I've just been really scared about like what if they don't accept me but yeah it should be good. I guess I just wanted to show you what our daily life kind of looks like now, I start work normally at nine and then I'll just literally walk up the street because we live so close to where I work which is just such a blessing and amazing I've never li lived this close to anywhere I work I don't know I just feel super super grateful to be here right now because we have such a lovely view but yeah it's currently 10 to 8 and I'm just gonna make some breakfast because I'm gonna be needing to head to work soon all morning I've just been having some coffee and editing my video that I need to upload on Monday it's my Hunter Valley vid video which I'm super excited about it's also like the drone de debut the first drone video on the channel yesterday we did some more shopping at Coles we also did a big Kmart shop the other day so we're just in Play Hub and we're getting stuff for our apartment we found some candles we've got a whole long list of things that we want to get we found a whole lot of stuff that we need yay um, I can show you what I got because I don't think I've vlogged much since then Oh, okay, the room looks really bad right now. I'll show you guys later, but we got some bedding. Yesterday we went to Coles and I just got some bits and bobs that I needed because I had to throw out like half my things I own when we moved from Brisbane. I got this because when you're swimming in salt water every day, your hair kind of gets so dry. I also got, I've been like using the simple because I feel like it's more kind to your skin because it's without like the perfume and stuff. Now I also need to cut my hair soon. It's getting really long. We obviously got lots of food i'm so happy to have like a fridge again so we've got this shelf and this shelf so we've got lots of olives we've got some of these like gold kiwis i've never had them until tommy introduced me to them but they're so nice obviously lots of hummus some spinach i'm gonna actually use that in my smoothie the oatly of course my favorite thing and oh we got grapes i just recently started doing like the frozen grape trend i know i'm really late on it but it's so good bloops and pineapple. Pineapple and like banana are my favorite things to have in smoothies. Girl, are your eyes okay? Is your brain okay? Cause that's the main goal. Oh my God, I also got this coconut bowl the other day from IGA and they're $10 each. So I only got one, but I used to have these at home. I just love eating smoothies out of them. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm at a cafe in Bali or something when I do that. From a little update while I do this instead, instead of being all artsy fancy. So I'm guessing and I'm hoping that I've already told you where I work, but if I haven't, I'm working at a resort in house keep cleaning. And there are so many restaurant jobs going. And the reason I wanted to go for housekeeping instead was just because of the hours. Um, like I did a bit of housekeeping when I was in Brisbane, and the hours there were like nine until three, and that's like prime time for me to work like that suits me so good and i just prefer getting it done like earlier rather than going to like an evening shift at a restaurant but i'm kind of realizing that there isn't that many hours in housekeeping but i'm just like i want to save as much as i can so i actually just got another job at this like bowls club um which is basically just like a bar where they have gaming as well and it's basically just old people go there. So I'm gonna start there next week, which is exciting and scary. <laughs> like, I don't wanna be overworking myself. Cause I obviously have YouTube as well, which takes a lot of time. Frozen mango is the best. Oh my God, this one is full beauty. Now I'm gonna just fill it with water cause I don't wanna waste my oat milk. Cause that's all sponsored. <laughs> the less liquid you have, the more firm it's gonna be like an actual acai bowl. So I want to have it a little less. Perfect. <laughs> Isn't our kitchen so lovely? Like, I'm obsessed. Icing on the cake, peanut butter. Mm, yeah. Okay, sorry for the traffic outside, but you guys wanted a life update. My hair looks so blonde. Um, but yeah, you guys know that like we were we just moved here on a whim 
just because we didn't like the city life. Oh, this smoothie bowl is so good, guys. Oh, the granola with the crunch and the peanut butter with the salt. Tommy had one day at work and I had one day of interviews. And on that day, I got a call from the place I'm working at now and saying like, can you come on an interview on Friday? I was like, I was lying because by that point we had like kind of settled on like, probably best to stay in Sydney. Let's see if we get jobs and like, we're here now kind of thing. But in our hearts, we were still like, Noosa would be the dream, like Noosa would be amazing, but we were kind of like, mm. Probably not gonna happen. Just because we had heard of how hard it was to find a place to live here. Like it's a really small kind of sought after place in Australia. Like even Australia's come here to holiday. But yeah, I got a call from the place I'm working at on the same day. And I just kind of told them like, oh, we're planning on moving up later this week, even though I hadn't even talked to Tommy about it. And then he got home and was like, do you know why this is meant to be? And then he was telling me about, he also got a call from a job he applied to here. So we were like, okay, it's a sign, let's go tomorrow. So that night we literally booked our flights. They were so overpriced, but wow, it was so, so worth it because like our quality of life from what we had in Brisbane has so changed to what we have here. And I just find it funny how I was spending two months in Brisbane trying to look for a job. And then as soon as I got here, I had one within like the first week of being here and a place. We found a place within a week, which was hard, but I think just because we wanted it so bad that that's why it happened kind of thing. Like we were posting all of the, the groups in Noosa before the day we even got here because we knew how hard it was. I was looking on Gumtree, I was looking on Facebook and it was just so hard to find a place like eventually we were like maybe we have to live 10 minutes outside of noosa um, and then this guy messaged us and we messaged him back and he was like it will be free in a week or two but we were like it's too good to be true kind of thing so we weren't like relying on that first we stayed in nomads which was drama drama maybe we have already told you um, we were staying there for like a few days but it got so bad that we we left and we went to a yha we wanted to stay there they had no rooms the only room they had was a room with two other guys in it it was really stinky and Tommy and I were like, no, we can't do this. So eventually we went to Flashpackers and stayed there for a week, um, which was a really nice hostel actually. And then, yeah, we went for a viewing at this place and then he was like, yeah, you guys moving on Saturday. So <laughs> we were just so happy and like so, so lucky. I'm not going to take this for granted. Like I'm so grateful to live so close to the beach. So Tommy's at work now. What's good with my job is that I normally finish quite early. And on some days he does too. So on those days we just go to the beach, like even if it's raining, we'll go for a swim. Life is so much nicer by the beach. I've definitely realized that about myself. Like I've never really lived in a big city before, but I've always wanted to try it. And now that I've tried it, I'm like, no, thank you. Because all I was craving was like being close to the beach. I'm sorry this ramble is really long. We've guys one little life update. That's basically it. The big goal is to save up for a camper van, do the West Coast, some of the South. I also really want to keep focusing on my YouTube channel and I want to keep evolving. Evolving, that sounds so weird, but I want to keep making my videos better. I've been looking at getting some new cameras. This one is good, but it is pretty old now and I do have a little speck of dirt in the lens that apparently you can't take out. Okay, that's enough for me. See you guys. Picking up surfboard. <laughs> Tommy's buying me a surfboard. Which one did you pick? <laughs> the blue one. I like the blue. Tommy has the white one. I'm currently just waiting for Tommy to come back. <laughs> he just went to run and grab his surfboard. What you doing? Waxing the surfboard so I don't slip off. Becca just got her first surfboard.
baby is back from work. Yes. And we've just made a Swedish meal. Minus the potato mash, we did pasta instead. I never knew that meatballs were a Swedish thing. They're not. We just took it and said it was a Swedish thing, but you I think it's actually like Italian or something. What are you doing? Took it from the Italians. What do you have to say about stealing uh, Italian food and I'm calling it Swedish? Sorry, I wasn't the one who did it. Oh, look at it though. We've got the sauce. Ooh. It's like the easiest sauce to make, but it's good. so good. So We've got oh, and some meatballs. Sure. These are not. corn, so they're veggie. But they seem really nice. And this sauce is so easy to make. All you need is a tiny bit of soy sauce, some like cream, salt and pepper, and that's it. And some beef stock. But it's vegan. Ooh la la. Just on the beach after a long day of work. Well, not so long. It was like six and a half hours. So that's long for me. Sun's finally out again after like a week of torrential rain. So that's nice. Tom's just out having a little surf and just chilling. So today I finally have a day off housekeeping, but today I'm actually starting my new job at the bowls club So I'm gonna be working as like um, a waitress I think I'm mainly gonna be on reception as well, which is really cool and interesting So I'm just gonna be doing evenings there. So I start at 5 p.m. Today and it's currently 20 past 8 So I have my whole morning and kind of day just to chill and I just want to do like a morning in my life with me Like get tasks ready because I have a few things I want to do I just love like sorting out things like at home vlogs so that's kind of what I wanted to do today kind of like morning routine but also sort it out with me day so first thing I want to take care of is hoovering these floors because they are disgusting because every time we go surfing we bring in so much sand with us from the surfboards I can't believe that we live here so yeah I currently just have a hair mask in my hair I just put it into dry hair just because my hair is so so dry recently I don't know what's happening I think it's all the salt water and like living so close to the ocean like swimming every day just not good for my hair so I've got my, my hair mask in I might put a face mask in soon but yeah I'm gonna get this hoover out and start vacuuming the floor it's weird because in Australia they say vacuum and vacuuming but in England I'm used to just saying hoovering but no one kind of understands when I say that so let's go <laughs> Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're like wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, trip, trip. Nah. Done. I don't know why, but hoovering is always such a sweaty job. I really feel like taking a dip in the pool now. So I might do that. And I've set up my station, my workplace here, because I'm planning on doing a lot of editing today. We were just watching Cowspiracy. I've already watched like, I think half of it. Back like probably five years ago when I was deciding to go veggie, I watched like 20 minutes and then I was like, Next day I'm going veggie, which so was actually around March, like around my birthday, so that's interesting. My birthday's on Monday, that's crazy. I don't know if you guys find this interesting, but I love like watching people clean their house. So I'm gonna go out with the rubbish, do my recycling, of course, and I'm gonna wash this, put, wash that away, wash everything here, so. So I forgot to hoover the sand out of our bed. Yay me! It's nine o'clock. Oh god, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I've already put the hoover away and it's a heavy hoover. I'm just gonna get 
the bedding and just shake it out of the window. How does that sound? <laughs> Let's do this one more time. Oh. So far, so good. That was a lot of effort. Hashtag wifey. Am I still filming? Oh god. Okay, I just did that. Before I start sitting down and doing lots of editing work, I'm just gonna go out, swim a little bit in the pool, listen to some music, and just chill for a little while. So pretty. I just got back out of the pool. Yeah, it's quarter to 10 now and I'm just gonna hop in the shower and then I'm gonna get to editing and working on my laptop. Also, I wanna make a smoothie bowl for breakfast. Cause I did have an early breakfast with Tommy at like seven, but it's almost 10 now and I'm hungry again. So I'm just gonna make a smoothie bowl, I think. I've been obsessed with this band or person, I don't know, Kaluri Kai. He's just got really like Hawaiian vibe, beachy music. <laughs> So I just got out of the shower and I'm really bad at like moisturizing and you guys always are like oh your skin's perfect but it really isn't it just like the camera seems to like blur out all my little spots. I just have this like one chill at home outfit and it's these shorts from Zara because I had to like get rid of half my wardrobe when I moved from Brisbane and went to Sydney. So I'm just gonna wear these and what I was wearing before. And I'll just change into my work clothes before I go to work. Yeah, I haven't done a room tour yet, but this is our room. And we have this little wardrobe, the bed, and these windows. It gets way too hot if we have them open. And I don't have a bedside table, so I've just got my suitcase with my sarong on top. Tommy's got that. That's his bedside table. <laughs> and in here we have lots of storage with like clothes. I've probably actually showed you this before. Tommy's and mine. So yeah, these are like all the clothes I own. So I think I need to go shopping. <laughs> the only thing I have for my smoothie is this, and I always have banana in it. But I can't really be bothered to go shopping right now, so I'm gonna see if there's anything else I can put. I think it's just gonna be mango sorbet with some yummy toppings and just maybe a little bit of oats in the sorbet. That's kind of gonna ruin it, so I'm not gonna do that. Well, my second breakfast, because I already had eggs on toast. I actually like watching something while I'm eating, so I'm probably going to just find a YouTube video to watch first before I start working. A few moments later. So I've just been importing footage, and I think it's time for a little coffee break. I've started editing it as well. Oh, the weather's just so lovely. I kind of want to go on a little walk. Look how cute it is. Nice and tidy. I don't know, having a like tidy space makes my mind so more clear and just makes me work a lot better. So I have this little espresso cup. I have a cup of ice. I have a whole separate video, but I've updated it since then. This is just the espresso version. So I take two teaspoons of espresso and I use instant coffee because I'm lazy. This is one I have right now. I normally have a different one. So then I just put the tiniest bit of Hot water in there. So here I have my espresso shot. I don't know, would you guys want me to like create my video? Cause I made, years ago I made this, how I make my iced coffee and it went like viral and people are still watching it. So I feel like I might want to make another one. So comment down below if you want me to make one. And the espresso goes in her and we mix and it's satisfying. Mm. It was too strong. Add some more milk. I like it to be like a light color. Beautiful. Three hours later. It's one o'clock. 
almost one o'clock and I'm hungry. I've just been editing still. So I'm gonna have the lunch that we made yesterday and it's so good guys, it's so simple. It's just a pasta salad. So basically we have red onion, we have capsicum or pepper, paprika, whatever you call it, olives, tomato, cucumber, and we've got the garlic feta, which is what makes it. The garlic feta is just feta infused in garlic olive oil and I just mushed it up and made it into a sauce and then I poured it with all of the pasta and we have some spinach. And oh, the sun is so lovely. So I decided to sit out here by the pool and eat my lunch. Now I kind of wish I was wearing a bikini so I could just like, ah, oh, the seat is burning so I could get in the pool. Maybe I'll go and ah, ooh, I really should have brought my towel out because I can't lean back. It's 4.30 and I'm ready to go to work. I just had some lunch leftover chili non carne. This is my outfit. Wish me good luck. My first shift. 